Well, hello and welcome to this edition of my Tesla Timeout series. My name is Kenneth McCoy, your host, and where I focus on things to do with my Model 3 and Tesla, including accessories. Now, in today's episode, I've got a new episode, a new accessory, a new episode, of course, a new accessory that I'm putting on. It's from a company called TeslaSY.com. They're a Chinese-based company, uh, but you've seen this product. It's called a Starlink or different kind of names for an LED strip. Um, and of course, that's in the show title. And I'm going to have links and descriptions and everything in the show notes so you can check all this stuff out. But what it basically does is it puts an LED strip and it connects the bottom of the light here, tail light underneath here, all the way across to the bottom there. And uh, if you can see that, if I'm holding the camera right. So it kind of connects those two. And it's a fairly easy install to do. This is not going to be a full installation video. They've got some great install videos on their website. Plus, if you Google this product, you'll see that it's made by, it's sold by other people as well, other companies. And there's a really good install video that I'll put a link on in the show notes as well from a guy that, that bought this from somebody else, but it's the same product and he walks through it as well. But I am going to point out some of the, I'm going to give you an overall install kind of uh, talk as I go through this, but I'm not going to show you every little step, but I will give you some pointers. I'll give you some of my thoughts as I've learned how to install this because I kind of started to do this, uh, to be honest, and then I thought, gee, they shipped me the wrong product because I just didn't think I was looking at it right. So one thing about Tesla uh, SY.com is the people there are fantastic to deal with. They get back to you. I uh, just use WhatsApp or, or another chat and they get back to you really quick. They get their engineers and I had some questions and they basically put me in the right uh, direction as far as what my thoughts were. Because one of the things that I thought was that this piece that you install under here goes flush against the, the back. You take these out and I'll show you how to take those out. I'll talk about it. And then it kind of goes flush here, but there's actually spacers so that you could route the cabling here. So it doesn't sit it'll 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 grip in the areas that it needs to grip to see how this is kind of indented a bit and then this part is flush so i thought they sent me the wrong part that's how silly i am sometimes but it turns out they didn't so everything's good i've actually already done a test fitting of this and i'm going to insert some of that video in here but basically i've already run the internal wires the harnesses from one light to the next you don't have to remove these lights at all so if you're seeing a video and they're telling you to remove the tail lights. Not on this, not on this LED strip. You don't. If you're replacing the tail lights, like some of the other kits that are out there that actually um, have the turn signal, and then the whole patterning integrates with the tail signal, um, then that's a different story. A turn signal, but these ones, you do not have to re remove the tail lights. Uh, the only light you will have to remove, and I probably won't even do that to be honest with you, because. Some people say you have to remove the um, passenger side tail light on the trunk lid. But this, that guy, the one video that I'm going to put the link is, he ran the cable through one of the holes that's going to be here before you put, the, put them back. And that even negates taking this out. So I'm not even going to take that up because I actually started to take everything apart and realized, oh, this might be the wrong part and yada, yada, yada. So long-winded story is this is really easier than you think it is the hardest part for this install is taking this trunk lid off and running the one wire that you need to from the light you need to connect it and run it down to the housing here so i've already got as i mentioned everything hooked up and i have just this connector left to plug in which plugs into the light i'll show you that in a sec that's the hardest part is, is routing it down here now you've got a couple of options you can route it through this grommet, shroud, or whatever you want to call it. But I have the Hanshou power trunk kit in here. And the, all those cables were run down here, which means that there's not enough room to actually fish another cable down. So I'm going to do it as one video is done, is run, run the cable up here, just pinch it in underneath the black thing, uh, or come out from underneath here and leave it externally connected and then go back underneath the rear, the bottom boot, back into the car, into the hole that's there. So you just need to pop these out, and then you can do that. And you know, sh uh, shrink tie it, um, twist tie it, and uh, put uh, black tape or nice tape to on the connecting ends to waterproof them, so that they won't get damaged. And that works fine. So I'm not going to route it inside. That takes longer. It's a little harder because, but I don't have room. I can feel that this thing is pretty, pretty full. There's not enough room to put 
another cable and a pin down here. Especially trying to get trying to get this thick pin here, if I can sh uh, this this pin out down into this cable. I just don't have the room to do that. So I'm going to run it on the outside and tape it, and it'll look okay. So as I said, that and this hardest part is getting this off. So the reason is, is it, it just pops straight out. But part of the problem is you end up breaking some of the clips that are in there. It's inevitable on this truck. I, I've had this thing off a couple of times and didn't even realize it was missing some clips. So let me show you what I've got prepared for that. All right, so let me show you the item. It comes in this box. It's pretty light. It's a light box. It just comes well taped and sealed. I've already pulled out the cabling harnesses. So there's two cabling harnesses. You can look on the install video to see what they look like, but they basically one goes to one side tail light and one goes to the other side and then they interconnect. And there's some plugs that you don't use. So it's pretty straightforward. You can just see by the plug pin outs that it's pretty straightforward. You take the harness here, you undo one tail light, plug in the harness, plug back the tail light, and then you reverse it on the other one. Now I will, you'll see that some of the video is that I actually had to flip the harnesses around because the, the lights were, uh, when I put the right on, it was the left signaling and vice versa. So I just flip the harnesses, move them, to, uh, swap them, and it works perfectly. So you'll see about that video coming up that I'll insert here. But the unit itself is connected by 3M tape. So there's only certain areas that are going to have the tape, as you can see, all along here. And of course you have to prep and clean the area uh, for that. Now, one thing I said is when you take that trunk lid off, this is what's gonna happen to those clips, right? The heads break off. This is what goes up into the trunk. And this part with this flat piece here is what holds that black uh, trunk lid backing into it. See, this one broke off too. It's supposed to have another piece there. So you need to, or I would advise you to, if you don't have any already, is go on Amazon or wherever, Alibaba or whatever you want, Express, and, and buy a bag. I bought a bag for like 15 bucks of these things. Uh, and that's what they look like new because that way you can replace the ones that break when you pull it off and you have lots to replace it with. So I would go ahead and buy a bag of that. Saves you time. And they're always good to have if you have to get back there for anything. They're good items to have here. Make sure these papers don't blow around. So this is basically the light and it goes on. Again, you can watch the videos to see it, but it just basically goes onto the vehicle. Let me get it here. It just goes onto the vehicle this way. So there's a picture of that. That's the trunk lid, right? trunk lid's there the tape's going to go on top because it's going to stick to the upper part of that trunk lid once you peel the 3m tape back and all this stuff but, uh what am i else i forgetting so that's that part and again i will show you how to do some of this but basically if i just kind of shut this we'll be popping this out this out and this out you gotta pop the, they'll just pop straight out you're gonna uh clean i'm gonna clean this up with rubbing alcohol they give you a, a wipe which I think is the same thing, um, the alcohol-based wipe. So I'm gonna use all that, and give it a really good cleaning, any place that the 3M tape is gonna to stick to. I wanna give that a good cleaning before I install it, obviously, and I'll do a test fitting as well. Now, and you have to take the license plate off, and, and I think the bottom, the last bracket too, but it's pretty easy because I've had all this apart before. So again, the hardest part for the install is pulling this out. You can get a, you can see I've already got one clip that's not holding very well when I put it back. So you can just start yanking down on this and it will pull, or you can use a tool. Since I have the power trunk lid, you have to remember to unplug it before you take the whole plastic piece off and put it to the side. But again, watch the install videos first or after you watch this thing, and then you'll get a better idea. Walk through it a couple of times. It's actually really simple. So I've got those spare clips. Got my standard uh, alcohol, whatever, right? Isopropyl rubbing alcohol, standard stuff for cleaning, some rags, gloves if you want to use them, some tools. Um, it's a 10 millimeter, uh, if I need it, uh, eight millimeter, sorry. That was to get the tail light out, but I don't think I'm going to need to get the tail light out. So I probably won't even use this now because I'm going to run the cord differently. Some pliers if I need to pull some of those clips out or vice grips. The main screwdriver will be a Torx for the license plate, right? And a Phillips depending on what nuts you have, but the torque for that license plate backing. I've got some flat screwdrivers just in case I need to pry something. I've got a pry tool, electric tape, of course, to seal all that up when I run it on the outside. Bunch of twist ties. Now they do send you some twist ties, send like three or four, 
but I had a bag anyway. It's always good to have lots of twist ties or use electrical tape, but twist ties tend to, uh, the snap ties tend to work really, really well, and then you can cut them, cut the excess off later. So I've got all the, the right tools. Bring whatever tools you think. You don't need any power tools for this. This is basically it. It's a pretty, again, easy install. Uh, what else can I tell you before I start ripping this apart? So like I said, I've already done the wiring, pulled out the light harness in the back, plugged in their harness, pulled out the light harness, plugged in their harness. Ran the, you pull out the rubber stripping, you'll see in the install videos, and I ran the wiring underneath here so it comes up behind here right now. It's coming up here. Tuck everything in neat as much as you can. This thing's been opened so many times it, it doesn't necessarily go back flat all the time for me, but that's good enough. Um, you have to remember when you, sometimes when you pull the side trunk carpet off, this damn, this thing up here pops out all the time. So then you have to start pop, you have to pop it in, put it back in under the rubber. So it just takes your time, a little bit of finesse, but it's really easy. So the hardest part is going to be fishing this up through that hole. I'm going to find the hole that's behind here and I'm going to fish this up underneath. And then I'm going to, once I've got it, the bar connected and fished through the trunk, I'm going to have it coming out of this hole here and I'm going to have it externally on this cable connected to this wire. Uh, I'm going to wrap it in black tape, all that stuff, and then it'll be run there. So it'll just show the wire like this running here externally parallel with that. So, and I'm also going to put a discount code uh, and a link for this product because these guys were really good at providing me a 15% discount. That's pretty good. Usually I get five or 10. So 15% discount, free shipping to Canada and the US, I believe. <laughs> so, all right, so check out the left turn signal. As you can see, it works. Now, one thing I had to do is I had to actually swap the wiring around because the left and right were, were mixed. The, uh, they were going out to the opposite one. So I actually had to run it differently, I believe, than the way they say it. They say to put this box on the passenger side connector um, and the other one the one that has just a single wire yellow cable coming out of it on the driver's side but this the signal because you have to tape it this way up was actually the other way so i just reversed them and it works fine so as you can see the bar the turn signal and my lower bumper one is working and if i look at the other one and if you look at the right hand turned, yeah, you can see it's all lined up and uh, working correctly. So I would certainly advise you to do a wiring test before you do the physical install, putting up the wires. It's pretty easy. As you can see, it's really easy to get back here. You just pull the carpet back and then tuck it in under the uh, rubber, uh, straight, the rubber uh, seal afterwards. It's pretty easy. So I would do that test fit first. Um, let me put the lights on just to make sure that that works. So if I go over here, and do the, turn the music down. Let's put the lights on. Beeping at me because I got the lights on. And yep, so everything comes on. The bar is lit, all my others are lit. The top here is lit on both of them. So everything's working. So when it's installed, it's gonna line up. So again, do a test fitting, do a dry run because you might have to reverse the wiring. And if you run everything, and I'm just checking the brakes. So go ahead and hit the brakes. Yeah, so you see that it uh, flashes. It doesn't light up much brighter, but it does do that flash just like the bottom was. Can you do that again, please? Let go of the brakes and then do it again. Yeah, there you go, does all that. So that's nice, just another warning. That's good, thank you. Just another warning for people that you got something going on. And just show you, see I've started pulling on this and you can see some clips are stuck in there, which means I'm gonna have to yank it out and most likely break it because they need to go into that hole and you see how the clip's stuck there that means if you try to pry that clip out i'll try with a pry tool sometimes i'll be able to get them out but when you pull them from the head here they break if you can get underneath and pull them maybe so i'm going to try it but see how the clips come out you just pull straight down this whole thing you pull straight down just be careful again when you get to to your if you have the power trunk option that you don't pull the whole thing off because you got a connection to undo so do it like. So to show you, this thing popped out basically in one full swoop because once you do it once, they kind of get loose a bit. Again, you see how some of these are broken, these clips, so I'm gonna replace them all. And then again, here's the trunk harness, the power trunk harness, so I gotta make sure that I take that apart so that I can put the lid to the side. And then since I have new clips, I'm gonna replace them all. Anything that's not broken here, because even this one's broken, I'm gonna replace them all with new ones so that uh, when it goes back in, it'll go back nice and snug. 
I'll just show you behind the trunk now. I got the lid off. Hopefully you can see that. So again, those install videos are going to show you the same thing, but you have your two um, license plate lights here, one on one side, one on the other. Middle is the camera with the, um, actually that's a trunk lid, sorry. And then this is the camera, the rear view camera here. And all the, all the cables are in order. The two for the um, license plate lights are these brownish ones here. They look the same. The camera one is like a fiber optic kind of cable looking thing. And then the other one is for your trunk power opening. So pretty straightforward, again, anything that has those safety kind of tabs, you pull up on them, right? And then you wiggle it and pull out. The camera one, same kind of thing. It has a safety tab. Now to get these, it's basically you squeeze one end of them. So you see how one side is flexible, the other side is shaped. You squeeze that tab in as you're pushing at the same time and just start pushing down from one angle on each. And same thing, this one, uh, for this one, I used device grips to squeeze the tabs together, just enough to pop it out. And same with this one. See how you have the tabs there? Just use a vice grips, or sorry, needle nose pliers and squeeze it and it'll pop out. Just take your time. Be aware that these things might go flying. So try to have maybe a hand there because they went flying on me before. Uh, they came out fairly easy once I put some effort onto it. So, but again, watch the install videos. They're going to show you this as well. And sorry, before you pop these things out, got to take the license plate off because it needs the room to pop these out, I think. So I'm just going to take the plate and the holder. I'm not going to take the black holder for now. Uh, if I find that I need to, that's where the T20 Torx uh, comes in. But these are just Phillips, a couple sets of Phillips, which I'll take my plate and holder off. I don't think you can... So this is what you're left with when you take the plate off. These are those two T20s. So I'm going to leave this part on because I think I have enough room to get these out. But if I don't, if this blocks it, then I'm going to pop it out. I mean, it only takes a second. It's not very heavy. So you know what? I'll just take it out. T20 Torx. So once the license plate's out, that's what you're left with, just the two main holes. So again, I'm going to have to clean all this, but not until I pop all these okay. out. So okay. this is the way the light is. You push it from this side, from the interior side, not the exterior side, but the inside. You start pushing this from the back. See how it's cut? It's shaped where the other one has this flexible indent, uh, this piece that, uh, like a, a lock. So when you push it from this side in, you start pushing there and you um, push in a little bit so that this part flexes while you're doing that and then it pops straight out. And then the going in is a reverse. You just kind of do it like this and then push it straight in. Now, since I had this out before, the washer, there's a little rubber gasket on here and it came out. It was either sticking to here or it went flying out because it's the first time I did this, these things went flying. So make sure you put the gas, the rubber gasket back on the right way. It's notched. So it's only one way that it can really go and it'll form fit as you can see if you've got the wrong way, it'll look funky. So you want to make sure that you keep all your gaskets for these as well. All right. And so do the same for this light. All right. So I'm going to show you one more time with some lights. So you can see it. So see how that one big piece has those two metal clips on each side. And what I'm going to do is get a pair of needle does. I'm going to squeeze those clips and push at the same time, push outwards nice and gently. So on one on the one side there, I get you the light and one on the other side. So it's pretty straightforward. Just take your time and do it gently. Okay. All right. So once you're done with that, it took me some finagling to get this one out, to be honest with you. I'm not sure why. Um, I think this, I bent this just ever so slightly, but it's okay. Because I've done this twice. I took it out once and I put it all back. So once you do it once, it's okay. But uh, yeah, it took me a little finagling to get it out of there, but it's in. So these things are going to go back. And so that now what I've got to do is clean this entire strip here, alcohol, all that stuff, and then line, do a test fit of the, uh, of the light over there and then peel the tape, stick it on. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put green painter's tape on it. I'm going to overlap it just to kind of snug it up and I'm going to leave it there overnight. Uh, it's a nice day, but it's going to get cool probably about... 15 degrees here overnight. The garage will stay a little warmer. So give it a good, nice temperature to seal in overnight before going out in the rain or anything like that. Give it a good 12 hours or so. I'm gonna tape it up tonight and just make sure that it's sealed. But uh, One thing they do give you is adhesion promoter. And I'm gonna put that on at the very end just before I'm ready to tape it. So I've cleaned it off. I'm gonna clean it a couple times with this uh, rubbing alcohol, give it nice and clean. Uh, so there's no dust, no grime on it before I do the stick, but I'm going to do a test fitting. Then I'm going to use the adhesion promoter, rub that all along the areas. Uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start peeling the tape on these things. So if I were you, I would just start peeling the corners off on this tape. There's a plastic 
cover which you can take off a uh, just a shipping for shipping piece of plastic but start peeling off all the corners of this tape this only looks like six pieces a couple on the sides and then one long one and two small ones peel off all the corners so you have a good good place and then when you're ready to fit peel them all off and snug it in and then put the tape to hold it in so just doing it with uh, both my hands here just to show you how to go in so i'm going to run see how there's because of these spacers the cable will run underneath here and it's going to go into the vehicle on this side or this side probably just straight through i think but these are going to go up basically and leave a space here so and the space is for this cable because i'm going to run it uh, through this light here so that it won't interfere with this light if i've done it right and then you should be able to put um, the bracket right back in. That's what the other gentleman did. So I'm going to see if I can get that that way. And what you do is you line up, you line up all the holes here with this, right? And then when you snug it up, you see it's got a nice fit. When you've got a straight line, it ends here, and it ends on this, and it snugs right up. And then once the tape's peeled, this is where it's going to going to catch all back in here where the tape is peeled and on the ends too where those pieces are I'm gonna get all right so here it is as the finished product as you can see um looks like the lights are on so i've got some pictures showing here of what it looks like at night with the lights on with the hazards with the turn signals all that kind of stuff so you can get a good view of what it looks like really fits nice i like it because it's the same oem color so it just blends in the shape uh, everything is nice just remember that once you line this up and you push it it sticks so you you really got to have it centered, feel both ends, and get it all level and centered when you stick it up. I put the tape again to standard all night. Uh, so it looks nice and OEM, open the trunk, everything's nice and clean there. Uh, and again, the, um, uh, the trunk lid put back. Now, one thing I did do, and uh, I just put a little bit of tape here, but I'm gonna actually change that because I just had a hard time getting this one piece back in. So I'm gonna fiddle with it later. So that's just there to remind me that I gotta do it, that's all. Uh, but I did run the wire out. As you can see, it's all, it comes out the bottom. It's all wrapped in here and then goes back. And it's all nicely zip tied. I kept saying twist tie, but it's actually zip tie. So it looks good. Um, and then one thing I did want to mention earlier is when I talked about running the cables here is because I swapped it. So instead of the box being on that side, the drive, the passenger side is on the driver's side. And instead of the that outlet that has a single yellow cable being here, going here because it's a longer run on, on that one. So uh, if I when I ran that uh, up to here, I was just a tad short, like basically a couple of inches. Um, it was just putting a bit too much stress on that line. So what I did is I instead I ran it up and underneath the top here, uh, just like some of the hood stuff is. Uh, that gives me lots of slack on that line. So it's probably easier than taking this rubber stripping off. I wouldn't even do that now. I would just run it up and underneath that um this top panel here underneath there you know tie it down i put some tape to hold the, the wires together and get it in there take some finagling to get that thing back on uh there's one plastic clip you can undo on one side where the light is um and that way you can loosen it and run it nice but that made a nice easier install of running it from here underneath here and up into here so i had lots of slack to join these and maneuver them to make it nice so I just wanted to show you what the camera looks like. Um, I mentioned that it gets partially obscured with this. So as you can see that you've got this top part here that just covers a little bit of the top of the camera. But as you can see, it doesn't really do anything for obscuring the field of view that you need for backing up. I can see my entire driveway down to the street as I move. Uh, I'll let me back up here. It bongs a lot because I'm in a tight garage. So sometimes the sensors go off, but yeah. so. Again, it doesn't doesn't add to anything that's going to cause any problems here. Plus, the side repeaters are on. So just wanted to show you that. You'll see the red light, the light at night. So you'll get a little bit of, of light coming from that at night, uh, which, again, may bother some people. But it's still plenty of light for to be see uh, to see the behind with the reverse lights on and those lights on. It's actually a lot more light. So it actually helps to light up the area, if anything. So I just thought I'd, sh I'd show you that because some people have uh, mentioned that, that it does cover it up. And uh, here you can see it for yourself. It's not going to impact me at all.
So that's it. Uh, thank you very much for this edition of my Tesla timeout. Again, thank you, TeslaSY.com for sending me this. Um, coupon code is here. The link to the product is here. These guys were excellent in, their, in putting up with me asking a zillion questions on this. Uh, the links for other installed videos are here. Watch them. Spend your time in you know, watching the install video so you can get a good idea. Hopefully some of the pointers that I've mentioned will help. And uh, it's a great product to have because it does add some unique personality. I haven't seen any of these here in the Toronto area. I'm sure some people have them, but I haven't seen any. So you might be the only one. They're, they're, they're kind of newer to the market, um, these types of solutions. And it's a lot easier than getting the solutions that actually integrate with the, with the, the lights itself. And then you have to, it's a lot bigger job to do that. So again, thank you very much for watching. Everybody uh, stay safe. And until the next time, I'll see you when I see you. Take care and bye-bye. And it is falling, dread it hard Be sure to stay and stay at high Bright stone down that hard and night fly Central hero shining silver beats a lullaby And rather be there in New York New York Without a game in New York New York and Taking that glare Yeah.